Today we're going to show you how to take your song idea from sounding like this to this. Your love is lifting me higher. You chase the darkness away. Every day is a battleground. Lock me down and I'll get up because you with me now. Woo, snap! That's good, folks. Welcome back to Music Creator Academy. In this video, we're going to be teaching you how to write a song in six simple steps. Throughout each step, we're going to be showing you a real example of us following these steps as we wrote one of our latest songs called Now. So be sure to stick around to the end because we will be revealing what that finished song ended up sounding like. Now, we are well aware that every songwriter's process is different and there is certainly no one correct way to write a song. So feel free to tweak or rearrange these steps to better fit your strengths and ultimately find the songwriting process that works best for you. Our goal in this video is to simply break down the process that's worked for us, that's been a key factor in us being able to create songs that have resonated with a lot of people. I've personally released countless originals online that have been streamed 10 plus million times, and recently I made my way to Hollywood on American Idol, auditioning with my own original songs, Al is the producer and songwriter for The Piano Guys and has created over a hundred songs in the past 10 years, which have amounted nearly 3 billion views, 7 million subscribers, 10 million monthly streams, 10 albums with Sony that have gone gold and platinum in six countries, held the number one spot on multiple billboard charts, and has had the opportunity to perform those songs on The Tonight Show, The Today Show, Good Morning America, and The Katie Couric Show, just to name a few. So with that being said, here is our songwriting process. Step number one is to declutter your mind. Without decluttering your mind, you are not able to access free-flowing, uninterrupted creativity, which is the fuel to this songwriting machine. You can't write a song if your free-flowing creativity is being bogged down by the clutter in your mind or the unhealthy tendencies in your way of thinking. The clutter is largely caused by these unhealthy tendencies. Setting unrealistic expectations, overthinking everything, and having a fear of failure. The best songwriters don't all share some common secret formula. They've simply mastered the skill of pushing aside that clutter, allowing them to be able to flip on and access that uninterrupted, free-flowing creativity at any time they like. That's why it's so important to overcome that clutter because if you don't, the rest of these steps we share will be impossible to do. Which brings me to step number two, which is to establish the emotion. This is where you sit back and ask yourself, how do I want people to feel as they're listening to this song? As I was writing the song now, before I started writing, I literally just said in my head, hmm, I'm feeling happy and hopeful today. I wanna make a song that's hopeful, happy, and motivating for the listener. Use that emotion to be the foundation you base all of your decisions moving forward on. For example, the chords you choose, the intensity you play and sing, the melody you decide on, and the lyrics you choose should all enhance and echo that emotion that you're attempting to portray. Up next we have step number three, which is to start with an instrumental idea. The two elements contained in this step are one, choose a chord progression, and two, determine the rhythm. These two things should echo your desired emotion. For example, as I was writing now, the emotion was hopeful, happy, and motivated. So in this step, I chose a hopeful, happy, and motivational chord progression and blended that with a groovy, upbeat rhythm, which ended up sounding like this. This is one of the most challenging and intimidating steps for beginners, as it requires at least a basic knowledge of an instrument. However, don't let it scare you if you're not familiar with any instruments. We do a deep dive on this step in our full course, where we teach you our favorite go-to chord progressions, as well as which chord progressions fit with different emotions. So once again, if you're intimidated by this step, be sure to check out musiccreatoracademy.com. Which brings us to step number four, which is a little something we like to call brainstorming out loud. Now that we have an instrumental idea that we like, like, it's time to come up with a melody. The goal here is to get a recording device, click record, and then play your chord progression that you came up with over and over again and force yourself to blurt out any ideas you have until you find a melody you like. 
Now don't overdo this, just record until you've found a few good melodies that you're happy with. This step is often the most difficult steps for beginning songwriters, because it requires a level of vulnerability that frankly most people just are not used to. It's so easy and common to feel uncomfortable or silly during this phase, and I'll show you why. As you can hear, it sounds kind of funny. I'm confidently singing nonsense words mixed with rhythmic gibberish over these piano chords I've just created. The point of this is to begin to shape and discover the melody. So whether you're singing actual words or just saying na 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 at every note, it doesn't hugely matter. Though for me, it helps the lyric writing process a ton later on if you just try to the best of your ability to blurt out real words and phrases. Phrases, however weird they may be, as it may spark new ideas later. Now, coming up with great melodies on the spot takes a lot of practice. I listened back to the voice recordings years and years ago that I did, and they're not great. But what's most important is that you get to a point where you're not afraid to look stupid. Yeah, must be that look on your face. Ooh, wow. Don't take yourself too seriously and just keep practicing. I will run every day, every night, till I see your face. Ooh, that's hot. Up next, we have step number five, which is to build the framework of your song. The first key to building your framework is to find and select the best melodies. So with your recorded brainstorming session that you just recorded in hand, go back and listen to your recording and select two or three melodies that you like best. The next key is to determine which melodies would make a good verse and which would make a good chorus. Do this by starting with the chorus melody. The chorus should be the climax of your song. Generally the chorus is where you're gonna wanna put the most catchy melody that's gonna get stuck in people's head. Now earlier on, you establish the emotion you want the song to portray. Here in the chorus is where that emotion is felt most prominently. So be sure to choose a melody that best echoes that emotion. When it came time to choose a chorus melody in our now example, I ended up going with this one. And I did so because it best hit the hopeful, happy, and motivational emotion I was going after. Yeah. Ooh, I just lift my desire But I don't run every time, every time Till I see your face once the chorus melody is selected, choose the melody that would best fit in a verse. And a verse's primary purpose is to serve as a buildup to that emotion that's felt in the chorus. In our now example, I decided to go with this melody for the verse. And I did so because I hit on the emotion I was after in this verse, but not as much, so it still left room for the chorus to hit it even harder. Now, once you've got the melodies down, the last thing to do is to solidify the overall structure of your song. This is essentially the structure I chose with the song now. Verse one, chorus. Verse two, chorus, bridge, chorus. Obviously, there are countless different song structures you can choose and many elements, including intros, pre-choruses, drops, instrumental breaks that we didn't mention here, but the simple framework is a great place to start. The sixth and final step is to write lyrics. Now in our full course, we go into the lyric writing process a lot more in depth, including letting you be a fly on the wall and observe real sessions of us writing lyrics. So here we're just going to keep it simple and go over the basics. We typically divide lyric writing into four steps. Step number one is to write out the song's structure. Whether it's on a piece of paper or the notes app on your phone, write out verse one, chorus, verse two, etc. all going down the page. The second step is to write out the gibberish words from our brainstorming session. The main purpose here is to just get down all the syllables on paper. So it does not matter what words you jot down at this point because later on you'll go through and replace all these words with words that match those syllables. 
The third step is to establish the topic or theme that your lyrics are going to be about that ultimately will echo and help portray that emotion you're going for. Now, if you remember, I mentioned that it's helpful to try and blurt out real words in that brainstorming out loud phase. And this is because the easiest way to find a theme or a topic is to just build off what you already have. Go read through those lyrics you wrote out and find a line or a word that echoes that emotion you're going for. For example, during my brainstorming out loud phase, I blurted out the line, Knock me down, knock it up, cause you're with me now. Ooh, snap! That's good, folks. That's good, folks. And that one sentence statement or theme ultimately became the foundation I built all the lyrics on because it totally echoed the hopeful, happy, and motivational emotion I was going for. Which brings us to the fourth and final lyric writing step, which is to finalize your lyrics. Now here's where you can really sit down and start to sculpt the exact message you wanna get across. Come up with lyrics that one, match the syllables of the gibberish we've created, and two, point back to that one sentence theme that we came up with. Now, while we did put a lot of emphasis in this video on having everything point back to that emotion that we decided on, don't forget that music is a form of art. It's subjective. No, you don't always have to rhyme your lyrics. No, your lyrics don't always have to make perfect sense. This proved to be one of my biggest roadblocks over the years. I am such a perfectionist at heart, and at this moment have hundreds of unfinished songs that I've completely abandoned and gave up on simply because I began overthinking the lyrics. So if you relate to this and feel like you're getting stuck at coming up with good lyrics, take a step back and simplify. Utilize that gibberish as much as you can. If there are parts you blurted out that made sense, keep them in and build off them. And if you find that you have nothing that really makes sense in that gibberish phase, fill in the first words that come to your mind that match your syllables in your melody. Seriously, the first words that come to your mind. Don't be afraid to do that. But there you have it, folks. Those are the six steps to write a song. Be sure to stick around because we will be showing you what that final song that we showed in here ended up sounding like. But before we do, we have an online course and worldwide community where we'll teach you how to write, record, and produce music on your own. So if you watch this video and want to learn more about songwriting or want to see an in-depth breakdown of how we took the song you saw me write in this video and turned it into a radio-ready song, we show that whole process A to Z there. Head to musiccreatoracademy.com. Come join our community. We would love to be your mentors. Now, without further ado, here is the final song. Tell myself I'm a change, but the change don't come. Let it burst into flames when I think too much. If I knew then, would I know now? Would I voice my love aloud? Knock me down, and I'll get up, cause you're with me now. And never cease to amaze, but it's strange the sun. And stepping out of your way just to love someone. If I knew then, would I know now? Would I voice my love aloud? Knock me down, but I'll get up, cause you're with me now. And your love is lifting me higher. You chase the darkness away Every day is a battleground Knock me down and I'll get up Cause you're with me now Now, 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 now Cause you're with me now Never cease to amaze, but it's strange the sun. Stepping out of your way just to love someone. If I knew then, would I know now?